This week we're working with text. We're going to create a Mad Libs game. If you've never played one, go online, do a quick search for Mad Libs and play one of the online versions. I've made my fonts and the boxes, my text boxes, very large to make them easy to see on this video. You'll want to make your font smaller. You may also want to make your stage size larger. That's perfectly acceptable. You're going to need to have 15 inputs for your Mad Libs game. I'm just going to demo part of Mary Had a Little Lamb. In setting things up, you're going to need static text, which will be your labels. You will need input text, and I've named each field with its label plus the underscore txt. You'll need an enter or some other sort of button, and you'll need to have a second scene for output, which I have named output, and that has a dynamic text field, which I've named output underscore text. There are three types of text fields. Static is just a label, it just sits there. Input accepts input from the user, and dynamic you can program. Get your scene set up, and then we'll start programming. You'll need to make sure to put a stop statement in your first scene if you're going to test it.